Hi, my name is Nate Fick, and I'm the U.S. Ambassador at Large for Cyberspace and Digital Policy at the State Department, which means I and my team oversee America's technology diplomacy. This work is increasingly foundational to American foreign policy and to our diplomacy. These are cross-cutting issues. They affect every aspect of what we do. We're excited to have strong bipartisan support in the Congress for a new cyberspace, digital, and related technologies fund that will fundamentally transform how we can provide tech assistance to partners and allies in the 21st century. Over the past few weeks, I've been all over the South Pacific working on a trusted undersea cable project that, when fully realized, will bring resilient, trusted digital connectivity to large number of Pacific Island countries, uh, linking them closer to Australia, to the United States, to Japan and Korea, uh, to our allies across the Indo-Pacific in order to provide that resilient connectivity uh, throughout the century to come. I was happy to visit Kyiv with my good friend and colleague, Jen Easterly, the director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency at DHS. And together, Director Easterly and I wanted to convey uh, a very strong show of support for our allies in Ukraine in their fight against Russia's illegal and unjustified invasion of Ukraine. And our technology assistance to Ukraine undergirds so much of what that government's doing, fighting the Russian invader and also maintaining continuity in the provision of digital services to its citizens. We have established something called the Tallinn Mechanism, which is a, a coordination mechanism for donor nations to prioritize, accelerate, and deconflict the provision of digital support to Ukraine. I was happy to be at the German Marshall Fund speaking about our trip to Ukraine and the importance in the years ahead of maintaining the kind of strong commitment to Europe on behalf of the whole United States that really undergirded peace and prosperity in the second half of the 20th century and the first decades of the 21st. 